Welcome to the Battle Royale, the Smackdown of the Century. Here we have four 18 inch greats that are coming out in 2023, and we're going to be comparing all four. Here we have the King Song S19, the Veteran Patton, the Begoat Extreme, and the Commander Mini made by Extreme Bull. How this works is that I have done all the research so you don't have to in regards to finding all of the individual specs for each of the different things and I put them in different categories and then we're going to be putting a score on each of those. Before we begin, let's explain the scoring system. The less important factors are going to be given a maximum of 5 points. The more important factors are going to be given a maximum of 10 points. Without further ado, let's begin. The first category is power. The Kingsong S19 has a 3500 watt motor, which is quite powerful. Unfortunately, Kingsong chose to go with a 100 volt system, which severely hampers the power capabilities of this wheel. For that reason, unfortunately, I'm only able to give the S19 a three out of 10. The Patton gets the bronze medal, the third place in terms of power. The Patton has the weakest motor out of the four, surprisingly with a 3000 watt motor, but the 126 volt system saves it significantly. So it's gonna be scoring a seven out of 10 for power. The Begoat Extreme sets itself apart here with a 134 volt system with a 3500 watt motor. It happens to be a C40 motor, which is extremely high torque and it's waterproof. That is the one and only wheel out of these four that's waterproof. The Begoat Extreme scores a 10 out of 10. The Commander Mini is only slightly less powerful than the Begoat Extreme with a 3200 watt motor. It also has a 134 volt system, but this one is a C38 motor and it's not waterproof. The C38 motor is capable of slightly higher speeds than the Begoat Extreme, but it also is slightly less capable in terms of torque. So it's a bit of a wash there. With all those things rolled together, the Commander Mini scores a 9 out of 10. The next category is the trolley handle. This one has a possible 5 points. And let's start with the Kingsong S19. The S19's trolley handle is something that flips down and sits flush with the wheel. And it looks pretty decent, but because of the way it's designed, it's very rounded and you're completely unable to put an aftermarket seat on there. In fact, it completely prevents you from being able to sit on there unless you want to sit on bare plastic. So the Kingsong S19 gets a one out of five. The Commander Mini and the Patton both have trolley handles that both appear to be very, very well built. Both of these wheels have a rear mounted trolley handle that really looks very sturdy, very well built, and with very little play. Both of these score a five out of five points. The Begoat Extreme has the same trolley handle that is present on the EX30, the Master Pro, the Master, the T4, etc. It's the same one that is being used over and over again. This trolley handle does have its pros and cons, the pros being that it sits down flush and it can tuck away very nicely. Unfortunately, this is an extremely poorly made trolley handle. It's very wobbly, especially for the heavier wheels like on an EX30 and a Master Pro. But also, it's very easily breakable, and the screws that are put into the top of it are really not designed for that type of metal, and so it just backs out very easily. It's very poorly well built. So, the Begoat Extreme scores a 2 out of 5. Next, we're going to be talking about batteries. Unfortunately, none of these are going to be getting full points. The reason for that is that at best, we have the Samsung 50E batteries, which frankly are really not that high of a discharge rate. And therefore, you are potentially risking cutouts, especially when you're trying to ride for performance at a low battery state. The solution to this is going to be getting more batteries in parallel, which none of these have more than 4P or 4 in parallel at any time. The other solution to that is to use a different battery type none of which of these has. The Kingsong S19 has a 1,776 watt hour battery. 
Now this one is gonna be an only 100 volt system, so it might sip the power just a little bit less than some of the others. One nice thing about the S19 is that it has a smart BMS, so you'll be able to monitor your battery cells very nicely. So the Kingsong S19, having the smallest battery amount but it has a smart BMS and being potentially pretty efficient with its battery is going to be scoring a 5 out of 10. The Patton has 50 E batteries with 2,220 watt hours. This one is going to be the number two ranked wheel in terms of battery capacity, but being that it doesn't have any smart BMS, the Patton also scores only a five. The Bigot Extreme comes out swinging with a 2400 watt hour battery. Unfortunately, they use Samsung 50E battery cells, which are really not that high a discharge. However, because it has a smart BMS and this is the highest capacity, we're gonna be scoring this one an eight out of 10. The Commander Mini also has a 2400 watt hour battery. With the same exact battery types, the 50Es, that the Bigot Extreme has. Unfortunately, because they did not include a smart BMS, we're going to be giving them a 7. The next category is the kickstand. EUC companies do seem to be learning that kickstands are very important to a happy customer. Well, some of them anyway. Some of them don't seem to be learning that well. The S19 and the Patton both appear to have very nice and wide kickstands that seem to be pretty well built. So because those two are wide and pretty sturdy looking, I'm gonna be giving both of them a five out of five points. The Commander Mini and the Bigot Extreme both use nubs instead of a typical kickstand. These can wear down over time, which may or may not be a problem. Early reports are showing that for the Extreme, the nubs that are installed on there make the wheel fairly susceptible to tip overs, and so it's really not that good. So the Bigot Extreme is only going to be landing a 2 in this category, and the Commander Mini is going to be scoring a 3. The next category is going to be the pads. The Kingsong S19 is really, really awful in terms of their pads because they shaped the wheel to conform to what they think everyone's leg is supposed to be like. The rear part scoops out and the front part also scoops out. And there was a chorus of voices saying, stop, this is a terrible idea. Don't do this. Don't launch it this way. We want to be able to put on our own third party pads, make it flat. Unfortunately, King Song is tone deaf and they just refused to listen. So they released it and they modified it so people could maybe adjust their pads a tiny bit. I don't know. It, it really is not a very good implementation. Either way, they improved it ever so slightly, and so they're going to be scoring a 1 out of 5 on the pad score. For the Veteran Patton, they included pads that lock your foot in at the bottom, and they're not just adjustable in terms of using Velcro or uh, some sort of adhesive material, but you can lock it down or completely remove it. Furthermore, they also added on some top pads that you can put on yourself if you so choose. This is a really nice feature and the pads are very well made. Next, we have the Bigot Extreme. The Bigot Extreme's pads are, from early reports, pretty good and they're essentially only adjustable up and down. From everything that has been reported, they lock in your feet pretty well, but since everybody's physiology is different, having pads that go up or down and then they stay there permanently, potentially, is really not a very good solution. What we really need are pads that are infinitely adjustable, just like the patents. So the Bigot Extreme is going to be scoring a 4 out of 5 for this. Good implementation, kind of. The Commander Mini is very similar in the way they did their pad design. It is adjustable up and down, and just like the Extreme, it does a very good job at protecting the wheel. Extreme and the Commander Mini kind of serve as a bit of a fairing system for the wheel. So that's why I scored so high for the Extreme. And the Commander Mini is going to be also scoring similarly, earning itself a four as well. 
All right, now let's talk about the seated riding ability. None of these wheels are really designed to be ridden seated because of them being a little bit on the shorter side. There's nothing wrong with you trying to ride seated on these, but it's just not generally recommended because that's not what they're designed to do. King Song really took it a step further and basically made it so you cannot use the trolley handle and ride seated at the same time. So they are scoring a big fat goose egg, a zero on that seated riding score. The Commander Mini and the Patton both have a flat top and so it's going to be fairly easy to install a third party seat if you so choose. So the Commander Mini and the Patton are both scoring a 2 out of 5. Bigode was the only company that designed their wheel around potentially seated riding. So as a result they put a seat on it so it's a little bit cushy, so that's going to enhance your comfort just a little bit. Both the Patton, the Extreme, and the Commander Mini all have a front handle for seated riding, which is, as I talked about in one of my previous videos, is a really good thing for learning how to ride seated. So the Extreme, being that it has that included seat, is going to be scoring itself a 3. The next category is weight. The higher the score, the lower the weight in this category. As usual, the Kingsong S19. The S19 is only 70 pounds, and this is due to the fact that the entire frame is made out of plastic. This is gonna be a potential fragility problem, but we're gonna be talking about that later. In this case, it actually is a huge benefit, and so the S19 is gonna be scoring an eight out of 10 on the weight scale. The Patton and the Commander Mini are extremely similar in their weight specs. The Patton is 89 pounds and the Commander Mini is 88 pounds, extremely similar. So being that they are such a similar size, they are both going to be scoring a measly 3 out of 10 on the weight scale. Finally, the Bigot Extreme. This wheel is 77 pounds and frankly, I don't know how they did it because that wheel is still a big honkin' hunk of metal. And so 77 pounds with all that power inside the frame is an incredible sight to behold. So as a result, the Extreme is going to be just below the S19 on the weight scale, and it earns itself a 7 out of 10. Next, we have suspension. All of these wheels are going to be getting pretty high marks because every single one of them skipped the air suspension. It is going to be two two-way ties in this case. All four of these have very high marks because none of them went with an air-type suspension. The S19 and the Extreme have very similar suspension types where they have 130 millimeters of travel. Also, they're using a coil type suspension, and so both of these are going to be scoring a 7. The Patton and the Commander Mini are very close in the way their suspensions are designed. Both of them have 80 millimeters of suspension travel, and they both have the very reliable and highly reviewed hydraulic type suspension. Because they have a smaller suspension travel distance, both of them are going to be scoring a 6 out of 10. The next category is build quality slash fragility. In the event of a crash, which one is going to survive the best? Plastic frames and bodies used to be all the rage just a few years ago. Now, all the new wheels that are coming out pretty much have a metal body for better protection of the batteries in the event of a lithium ion battery fire. Unfortunately, King Song said, forget the rest, we're going to be doing plastic. This resulted in weight savings, but I think that it's going to be a whole lot more fragile in the event of a crash. The S19 has a very exposed speaker right behind the rider's feet. This is going to be potentially a big risk in terms of if slash when you crash, that speaker is going to be one of the first things to go most likely. For all those reasons, the S19 is scoring only a 3 out of 10. The Patton absolutely oozes build quality. Everything about it says this is a high quality piece of machinery. Unfortunately, they didn't include a fairing system that's present on the Extreme or the Commander Mini. And so for that reason, the Patton is scoring an 8 out of 10. It does have those nice pads that are included with it, but it's just not going to be quite enough to protect in the event of a crash as well as what's on the Commander Mini or the Extreme. Commander Mini and the Extreme, as I said just now, have that very nice set of pads that will undoubtedly protect it very well in the event of a crash. And so 
while they have slightly lower build quality, it looks like it will be able to take a hit a bit better. So both of those are actually going to be scoring the same as the patent, an 8. The next category is also a huge one, pricing and value. For a fair comparison's sake, I'm going to be only using one single vendor's pricing across the board. In this case, it's Next Gen Mobility, and it's a place where you can get up to 30% off on your wheels, and you can even get an even further discount if you check the link in the description. The price tag for the S19 and Next Gen Mobility is $2,200. This wheel is pretty decently priced as far as the specs are concerned, but compared to its competitors, it really is not that great. For just a few hundred dollars more, you can be getting so many more features. And for that reason, the S19 only earns a 3 out of 10. The patent is priced at $2,950. This is without a doubt the most expensive one out of these four being compared. The price is still not absolutely horrible because you are getting a very high quality looking wheel. Unfortunately, when it's compared against the specs that it has, it really doesn't have quite as much value as some of the others. So the patent is only scoring a 4 out of 10. The Bigot Extreme is priced at Next Gen Mobility at $2,750. This is the second most expensive just under the patent. This wheel is absolutely crammed with features, and so this wheel is pretty good value considering how much you're paying for it. I'm going to be awarding the Extreme an 8 out of 10 for value. Now we have the Commander Mini, which is only $2,500. It is the second least expensive out of these four. For all the features you're getting, you're getting a lot for a fairly small price tag considering. The Commander Mini is scoring itself a 9 out of 10. The next category we have is the power to weight ratio. Ultimately, this boils down just to one thing raw performance. The S19 being a 100 volt wheel is the lowest spec, but it's also the lightest weight. So that balances out a bit, so it's scoring itself a 4 out of 10 on the power to weight ratio scale. The Patton having a 126 volt system and a 3000 watt motor and being 89 pounds, it's quite the powerhouse, but it's also extremely heavy. So the Patton is only scoring a 5 out of 10 Remember, these two wheels, while they have been scored a bit lower, we are doing comparisons here. So we are comparing these four. The Extreme has a 134 volt system, a 3500 watt motor, and is only 77 pounds. This is an absolute beast in terms of the power to weight ratio, so it's scoring a 10. The Commander Mini also has a 134 volt system, but the motor is down to 3200 watts. Being that it's a bit on the heavier side, this is going to be scoring an 8 out of 10. Now it's time for the conclusion and the final tally. In last place, we have the Kingsong S19 with only 40 points in dead last. Personally, I don't see much of a reason to buy this wheel when you're looking at the other options available. It doesn't look absolutely horrible, but when you're comparing the other available options, I see so many other reasons to buy other wheels instead. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> the next runner-up with 56 points is going to be the Veteran Patton. This wheel I find is going to be a very, very good wheel. Unfortunately, some of the little things about it, such as being slightly lower power than the rest, and the fact that it doesn't have a bit of a fairing slash padding system built around it kind of knocked its score down a little bit, but it still is a very good looking wheel. And now we're down to only two, the Extreme and the Commander Mini. Which one reigns supreme? With 64 points, the winner is both of them! That's right, it's a tie. Both of these scored 64 points in the final tally, and so both of them are taking away the gold medal. I was personally shocked at the performance of the Commander Mini, but the numbers don't lie. I've been the most excited about the Extreme since day one, and it does look like an absolute value-packed wheel, but when I look at the Commander Mini and all the great features it offers, 
it really does look like a fantastic wheel that packs a lot of value in there. So for all those reasons, I'm highly recommending the Patton, the Extreme, and the Commander Mini. Every single one of them looks like a fantastic wheel, and I look forward to riding every single one of them. Lastly, if you want to get any cool EUC shirts like this one or discount codes for your next wheel purchase, check out the description. Also, if and only if you found this video entertaining or educational, smash that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.